when you hear somebody say the perfect winter holiday, what's the first thing that comes in mind? I guess for a lot of us it's gonna be something in the Alps. You know, the alpine villages, skiing, so snowboarding, snow smoking chimneys. I also don't blame you if uh, the first thing that comes to mind will be palm trees, warm, because in the winter there might be enough cold back home. But have you ever thought that a perfect winter holiday could have both of them? The pleasures of summer and pleasures of winter. Let me show you. So, um, town of Almeria, southern Spain. And don't get me wrong guys, I am gonna tell you about one of the coolest places in Europe to spend a winter holiday. But at first, Almeria is nothing special by itself. It's a tourist town, around 200,000 people, beach, palm trees, a lot of uh, apartment buildings with balconies facing the ocean. There's literally hundreds of towns that look exactly like this all over the world. But uh, what really makes Almeria special is what lays around the town. The first place that really makes Almeria special lays just north of the town, about 30 minutes and uh, could be called Europe's only desert. It's not a big secret that Europe does not have desert. But we do try to make ends meet with what we have. And uh, well, I guess that's like the closest thing to desert we have in Europe. I guess in the summertime when all the greenery dries up, it can really look like a desert in a winter at the moment. Not really. As uh, Europe does not have a desert, but um, well, westerns and other movies where desert is needed still need to be filmed somewhere. So there are quite a few Hollywood themed or western themed parks here in uh, southern Spain, and uh, yeah, we have made it to one of them. Yeah, it's quite crazy like when the movie doesn't have a big enough budget to actually go and film in a desert or to actually build this kind of set then you can literally just rent out one of those places in here you can film your movie you can do your thing and uh, yeah it's like low budget westerns or spaghetti westerns i think they're called There's not enough room in this town for both of us.
So th there it is. That's the closest thing Europe has to a desert. <laughs> and to Western movie sets. But the so-called desert is definitely not the only special thing about Almeria. Um, if you're heading southeast of the town, you're gonna end up in a national park. Our host Mariam asked us along today to discover Cabo de Gato. Cabo de Gato? Cabo de Gato. Cabo de Gato National Park which uh, lays just on the other side of Almeria, like 30 minutes away, and the place is known for its beautiful cliffs, beaches that are the best in the area. And we're hoping to hike a little bit and see some of the beautiful nature on this side. So we got desert with spaghetti westerns, we got palm trees, beaches, beautiful hikes. But for me at least, the coolest thing near Almeria is still ahead. And that place is Sierra Nevada, Nevada mountain. And believe it or not, in January, at the same time when people are sunbathing down near the beach, the mountain tops are covered in snow. And for the lovers of skiing, snowboarding, winter sports, there are dozens of slopes waiting to be conquered. This is not how I imagined their vacation in Spain. Is that how they do it in the Red Bull movies? Yes. <laughs> My whole life, this has just been incredible to me that there are places where in the morning you can start your day in the mountains, skiing, snowboarding, enjoying the crisp and nice weather. And in the evening you can drive down to the seaside. It's just an hour away and you can go surfing, swimming, sunbathing. It's crazy that such, such places exist. And honestly, even crazier that we have those places here in freaking Europe. I'm so happy to be here. It's, it's beautiful, it's amazing, and it is just incredible. That was just so, so, so cool. I really loved our time in Almeria and it was such a surprise to me that 
there are places like this in Europe. Places where you can have winter and summer at the same time. I really hope that you guys enjoy the video and uh, that you had as much fun as, well, as we did. But uh, this will be it for this time and I'll see you again next Thursday with some more Spanish adventures. Until then, take care my friends. See you in a week.